Hey guys, it's Mike coming back with another Johnny Bench and Hank Greenberg PC update video. Hope everybody's still enjoying what's left of the holidays. I um, want to wish everybody a happy new year. Um, got quite a few pieces in the last few days and I just wanted to kick off the year by showing these off at one time. Um, been doing well. I, I wish everybody a happy and a healthy and prosperous new year. Um, it just seems the older I get, uh, you know, the more things going on with family and friends and health and such. So, um, more than fortune, I hope it's more of a healthy new year for everyone. Everyone I know that's dealing with some medical issues and problems, and hope everybody just has a happy, healthy new year. So, anyway, I want to get started and do a few things. Uh, I this bench stuff has been slow lately. Uh, the new products have been so expensive, and it seems like now anything is super short printed, which to me is like 10 and less. I see a lot of people posting them in like Buy It Nows for $2.99, which is just ridiculous. So I have to wait now for auctions to come up, because I guess people are still try they're trying to recoup, like, break money or something so why they ask such high prices I don't know why things have gotten so expensive but I know breaks and boxes are getting so high I think sometimes they do that just try to recoup some of their cash but I've been lucky the last couple of weeks and uh, I guess for the holidays people are more in a selling mood so a lot of this stuff has been coming up at auction or much better reserve price or buy it now price so I've been able to get a few things uh, first thing I want to show is uh, Bradley, our buddy Bradley, who, Griffey Hoarder 2-4. Uh, if you haven't seen the other video, he sent me this for the holidays. It's a um, um, this is a Luminaries one of one crazy black variation, beautiful autograph. Bradley, I want to thank you one more time if you're watching. And you do have some mail coming, so this is a teaser for you if you, uh, if I didn't text you, but I was going to surprise you. If you watch this video, you'll know. But thank you so much for that. Just love it. And I will be putting that away shortly. Um... One of my favorite products is Heritage. And even it's been putting in some killer bench stuff the last few years. Uh, 2016, uh, they had the real one autographs in blue and red. The red were numbered to whatever it was that year, 67. And um, the blue were actually shorter printed than the red, which is unusual. I think that's, uh, at least for bench, that's the only year that's been the case. And back then, when the blues came out, they were pretty pricey. But after a couple of years now, they've dropped down a little bit. Well, they're still hard to find. Uh, I think there's more reds you've seen on the market than the blues. But this one came up. I uh, got it for a very nice price. One of my favorite cards. and I just love these. That's a very, very young uh, picture of Bench. And... Uh, I just love it. So glad to get that. I've got the red one already. So glad to get that one finally after two years. And let's see here. We're going to do, well, let's do diamond icons. I got this one, the red parallel from last year, 17, number to five. It's a beautiful on card auto. And, uh, Set the focus. Come on, camera. There we go. It's a beautiful one of my favorite pictures of him. Love the look on his face for that one. A beautiful on card autograph. Red background makes it perfect with the reds. Just love it. Uh, that took a long time to pop up. You know, I could get it for a reasonable price. I got this one just the other day. I haven't showed this on the Hogs page yet. 
Now this is this year's and this is the purple version of 10. Another on card, beautiful on card auto. Oh, come on, camera. There we go. Number four, ten, purple version. Beautiful card. Love diamond icons. Oh. Love to get the red version of that, so I'm going to work on that next. Uh, kind of a more unique one. You know, a lot of cards anymore, they do the different color variations, and you might have like, you know, 25 and 10 and 5 and a 1 of 1 where you end up having 40 some autographs on the market, even though some of them are short printed to 5, and you're just going after the variation. Some products. They're very, very hard to find. This is out of Stadium Club. It's one of the few times Topps uses a sticker on them. But I'm cool with it because the only autograph card, he had five autograph copies. Uh, this is number three out of five. And there are no other variations. It was just these five. And the product where they made a lot of it. And it was hard to find these autographs. Uh, again, these popped up. This is probably the third one I've seen. It could be the same one been listed two or three times. But they're hard to find, and I finally got it for a decent price. With all the coupons and stuff, eBay's been running. So this is out of Stadium Club. Great picture if you're throwing out a base runner, I'm sure. Just an awesome design. If it was on card, it'd be even better. But, you know, Tops is full. 90% you know, of the products he's in is on card autos. So I can live with a couple like this and they're more, I guess you call them lower end products, but Stadium Club's very cool. I like Stadium Club. So very happy to get that. I've been waiting for one of these. This is from 17, I believe. Might be 18. But I've been waiting for one of those to pop up for a while at a reasonable price. And again, under the same vein, this is from last year's Tops Update. 2017. This is the, they did, I'm sure a lot of you that collect tops have seen these. These are the MVP award medals. It's essentially a, a reproduction of this, the MVP award for that year. And they made a little metal card out of it. Insert for a card. And Adventure's a two-time MVP and he won in 70 and 72. This is the 72 version and it's autographed on card. Which is very cool. He had to kind of squeeze it in the corner down here. It's only number two out of three. Now we're talking about a product like Tops Update where they made a gazillion of these things. So, and these are not number variations. There's three in the whole product, which makes this a true, almost a needle in a haystack type thing. These just don't come up just because there's so many boxes out there and such. And the guy first listed it pretty high, and it came down and came down, and I finally got it, made him an offer, and he took it, and I had a coupon, and worked out really nice. So this is a 72, so I assume there's one for 70 also, but um, it's numbered out of three, and it's on card auto, so this is really a true tough card to get. And we got two more for this year. Uh, got the first transcendence. Um, this year, um, they made two variations again. They used pictures this year that I haven't seen for Bench. This is, I've never seen this card picture used for him. And it's funny, I was looking at, uh, they come in 25 and maybe 15 and 10. And I was looking at the 25s and they were going for about 100 bucks. And I was getting ready to buy a, I think a 15, a green version. And it was probably close to 100. And this guy, and while I was doing this, it's one of those things, just luck. And, as I was doing this, and I refreshed the bench uh, search. And this number to 10 purple version was posted with a buy it now of like $72. And it was like, are you kidding me? It's one of those things where it's like almost so good you almost... Take a second and think, what's wrong with this? Is it damaged or something? But I looked it over real quick, and uh, it's beautiful. 
nice on card auto purple variation and uh, like I said it's a picture of bench that uh, I haven't seen before for tops number out of 10 beautiful card and it's hard to go wrong with transcendent I mean I think it's twenty nine thousand dollars a box so I guess everybody's chasing those I'd love to have the, there's a 52 gold uh, super fractor for all the players I guess in the set and uh, they're all number one of one and that's the only versions they're making so if that bench pops up and I can afford it I'm going to try to get it but that's beautiful I love that purple and the final card is uh, out of dynasty um, it's a dual patch number to five I like Dynasty just because of the, you know, it's number to five every year. I think the first year he had like five variations, and I think the last two he's had three. This year it looks like he's going to have three again. Um, it's a gold autograph. One thing I like about Dynasty this year, they're using full color photos, full bleed photos, and um, again, they picked a picture I haven't seen before for tops. And uh, it's a beautiful picture, dual patch. Yeah, he never has the best patches. Usually it's just a red patch with um, uh, some jersey, which this is. But it's, it's beautiful gold auto, number to five. And it is just gorgeous. So number to five, dual patch. There's two more versions this year. Love that picture of him. It's gorgeous. Dynasty is something else. So that's the first. Hopefully I get the other two here shortly. I missed out on one of them. It went a lot higher than I expected it to. Uh, but we'll get, hopefully it'll be a couple more pop up. Uh, for Hank, I got just a couple things. Um, I bought this. Uh, Brian's still selling his modern collection of Hank and a few other things. Because he's focusing on high end vintage. And if you haven't seen his video recently, you got to, he's been picking up, he picked up a 34 rookie card in near mint seven, which was incredible. And he just got a nice 38. And he's, he's really got some nice stuff going right now. So check Brian's page out. And, uh, but he did send me this. This is a Wheaties. It's actually my first Wheaties. I was debating whether to get these. Now, these were cut off the back of cereal boxes. I think this is 40, 41, somewhere in that range. And it's like a triple. Uh, very neat. You know, people have been collecting cereal box premiums for a long time. I was thinking about trimming it just to get the peg portion, but this is smaller than I thought. I thought I took up the whole back panel of a, like a regular cereal box, which would be too big to, um, to encapsulate. But uh, this is only about maybe four by six or something like that, five by six. So I'm thinking about just getting trimming it up real nice and even and uh, setting it off and just doing it like that. We'll see. But that's very neat. Thank you, Brian, for letting me have that. Uh, I got a couple of vintage one photos in. Uh, I don't think I've shown these. This is from. July 23rd, 1956, the day that Joe Cronin and Hank were enshrined in Cooperstown. Uh, at the time, Cronin was the GM for the Red Sox, and Hank was the GM for the Indians. And it's just a picture of them both holding um, their plaques that would be going in the Hall of Fame. And show you all type one type stuff. This is it's stamped, the date stamped on the back. And what they did was they put a piece of the newspaper article after uh, they used this picture and then they used that caption right here underneath. And uh, then they stamped it again. And this is just put in their archives. This one's out of a. Uh, on computer 
Now it's got an authenticity stamp from um, Herald Archives. I guess this was the, the Herald's new pa newspaper that had this. But anyway, very cool. And the last one's a little bit more historical. This is a probably like a five by seven type one photo from um, when uh, the, ta the Tigers, this is the original caption for it. But uh, this is, uh, and I don't think I've showed this. In 1945, Hank came back from uh, serving in the, uh, he'd been from service, and he came back on um, July 1st, 1945. And at the end of the year, they were uh, they played the the Browns, St. Louis Browns, and they needed to win to keep them having to play a one game playoff with them because they would have finished tied. So the, the last game of the regular season, and uh, Hank came up in the ninth inning, bases loaded. I think they were trailing by one run, and uh, he hit a grand slam home run that uh, won the game for him and avoided any type of playoff. They went on to the playoffs. They won the World Series. So that probably saved their, their year right there. And uh, this is a picture of him crossing the home plate after he hit that home run. So one of his most significant, after years later, they asked Hank of his most uh, favorite moments of playing and when he was much older. And he said uh, he was this home run here where he hit the grand slam to win the pennant and in 1934 when he hit his first home run in the, the first game of the world series, his first world series so I thought that's pretty neat and this is a picture of him crossing the plate and I'm sure back then the cameraman ran right up to the plate and started taking pictures but that's uh, very neat. Love the expression on his face. He came back from the war after being gone since um, early 1941. All that time he came back and he picked right up where he left off. Had a great year in 45. And in 46. Before he finished up with the Pirates in 47. These are type 1 photos, and I think they're just fantastic. If you're a vintage collector or a certain player, uh, you ought to add a few of the, your favorite players' vintage photos to your collection because they're, they're really, really neat. And one day, if you want, you get a ticket stuff from the game or a program. Uh, there's a guy that's got the program from this game, a scored program, but he wants a lot of money from it. If you get something like that, add this photo, maybe get a ticket stub if you're lucky enough, and you talk about a great piece to put on your wall, whether it be Mickey Mantle or Ted Williams or whoever it is. So anyway, that's everything. I want to thank everybody for watching. And again, I wish everybody a very happy and healthy and prosperous new year. And take care. I'll talk to you later, Lord willing.